go back to the to the beam and ASU's April Boone, another of our featured athletes from the top. And Arizona State, you would think, would be strong on the on the beam because their graduate assistant coach, Ashley Kelly, the Pac-10 champion in this event in both 2004 and 2005. And April Boone, and you mentioned it at the top, Amanda, had a perfect score on this event earlier this year. That's right. Very difficult to get a perfect 10 on an event like the balance beam. Getting ready for a tumbling series. That can spring way out. Pretty close to perfect there. Very nice leap series. Switch leap to straddle jump. She anchors this event not only because she's consistent, but she has great skills and can hit the skills. Check there. You can see in her face, she's very confident on this event. And I'll tell you, the key to being good at the balance beam under pressure is confidence. She gets ready for a dismount. Round off double tuck. Very nice landing. She has been good on the beam all year long. Her average coming in a 9.855 and expecting a number right in that neighborhood. That takes care of rotation one. We come back, top two teams in the Pac-10, UCLA and Stanford in action. Arizona, there's still some winter in some parts of the country, but here it's about 80 degrees outside. That's why most people end up living down in the desert at some point in their lives. After one event, and remember the three teams at the bottom yet to be in action. We'll see them here in the second rotation, Oregon State. California, Arizona State, and Washington. We heard a lot of noise from Oregon State over on the bars in that first round. Rotation two, Arizona on the vault, Stanford bars, OSU on the beam. The Bruins for the first time in action on the floor. And keep in mind that Stanford is your Pac-10 champion. And here is Ariana Berlin, a sophomore from UCLA. And just a, a great story, the co-Pac-10 freshman of the year last year with Oregon State's Jamie Lance. A lot of personality in this routine. We just saw her second tumbling pass. You can see right now that she's having a great time out there. Ariana is probably the best story in the meet as a 13-year-old while living in Southern California. She was involved in a, a near-fatal car accident. It completely ended her gymnastics career at the time. She had to have a, a rod inserted into her right leg. And so she went to dance. And through dance, she met the UCLA head coach, Valerie Condos Field, who was choreographing dance in San Diego at the time. And after a couple years together, Ariana said to Condos, you know, I'd like to get back to gymnastics and walk on at UCLA, even if all I can do is a, a cartwheel. Condos said, we'd love to have you. It's a great story. They work together. She comes back as a freshman. She's not only competing, but she's an all-around, and she's the co-freshman of the year. It's just an, an unbelievable story, an athlete and a coach giving a kid a second chance. Exactly. When you see her perform out here, and you know this is where she should be, out on the floor competing for UCLA. Very nice whip double full. You can see that dance background throughout that routine. Yeah, she used to be in a, a dance troupe down in San Diego that's pretty famous in this community called Culture Shock. And you got to figure that she just appreciates every moment now. And she and her head coach, there's Valerie Condos Field. Five NCAA championships for Valerie Condos. Mandy Rodriguez now. Oregon State. Mandy Rodriguez, uh, a freshman, and she grew up in Los Angeles. She worked for a time with the, with the Mexican national team with a little international experience. Each routine on the balance beam is about a minute and a half. Every athlete has to include their tumbling series, their leap series, their full turn, all those different elements. Standing front, very difficult, solid landing. Right into a standing back tuck, back handspring, swing down.
Rodriguez coming off her best performance in terms of all around, all season long. Last home meet against Cal State Fullerton went 39-4-5-0. Nice leap series, switch leap to straddle jump, showing great flexibility on the straddle jump. And a very nice routine so far. Double stag ring, straddle jump, right to a pike jump. And dismounting with the front one and a half. Very nice landing, great start for Oregon State. Pretty fired up, her teammates come out to meet her. High tens all around, a lot of smiles. Oregon State has a lot of momentum early on. They were good on the bars and so far good on the beam. Here's another look at her dismount, a Rudy off the end. And see, spotted that ground and went for the every extra tenth she could get on that stick. We talked about Stanford already. Stanford 6-0 in the Pac-10, and they, they beat UCLA this year to win the Pac-10 regular season championship. Very nice. <clears throat> Pack Salto down to the low bar. Coming up, preparing for dismount, winding up. Beautiful double layout, perfect landing, nice job. Alex Pinchuk for Stanford. Her teammates waiting down in the bullpen, a long run to them, but they're all waiting for her. Getting Stanford out quickly. Pac-10 Gymnastics Championships. Decent crowd still filing into Wells Fargo Arena on campus at Arizona State University. Jim Watson alongside Amanda Borden, part of the Magnificent Seven. You know, I can't remember a day I didn't go to my niece's house and see your poster over their beds. <laughs> it's a big thrill for me. Hard to believe it's been 11 years. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Carly Janigo of Stanford now. We expect to see a lot of Carly today. Having to wait for the judges there. That can be a mental game. You're prepared, you're ready to go, and the judges quite aren't ready to go. But Janigo. Carly's very experienced on this event. Yeah, and she, she's another all-arounder. We talked about her at the top of the show. Only 4'11 and, and a hometown kid from, from Paradise Valley here in Arizona. Second highest all-around average in the Pac-10 this year at 39.375. And she had the fourth highest all around in conference this year when she threw up a 39.575. And I guess for people at home, anything over 39 in an all around is pretty impressive. Very impressive. That was set. She's so dynamic on this event. I mentioned it earlier, judges are looking for the vertical lines. Every time she casts a handstand, hitting that line, beautiful right there. She flips right back down, shoot the handstand onto the low bar. We'll hit back up to the high bar. Finishing with a double layout, very nice. Number one in the Pac-10 and bars average, 9.910 is her average on the season coming in. You can see why. Performed a double layout dismount, but more importantly, the landing on this double layout is what counts. Beautiful form in the air, seeing the ground and not giving a tenth away. Janiga had a, a 9.950 was her season high earlier this year on the bars. We see much more of her. Only 4.11, but a big talent. Jordan Schweikert, UCLA, on the floor exercise. The 5'4 junior from Las Vegas. Finished third in the all-around in the Pac-10 Championships last year. Very nice, Rudy. Layout front half to Shushinova. Finishing out that routine. Now, we just caught the tail end of that. A lot of stuff going on at one time. We'll take a quick timeout and return to Wells Fargo Arena in Tempe. You're watching the Pac-10 Gymnastics Championships on FSN.